Hi ladies, Ali here from Clear Skin and Wellbeing. So today I thought I would do some yoga neck exercises. But before I do, if you haven't subscribed before, please subscribe and also please like. We have lots of information on skin, wellness, hair, beauty, makeup and I upload three times a week which tends to be on a Sunday, a Wednesday and a Friday. So first of all neck exercises. Now we tend to lose the collagen within our body and also obviously the neck and so as we become older our neck starts to wrinkle, we start to get those fine lines and a bit of a shut saggy jowl. Also things like watching the TV, looking down at your computer or your telephone, that downward head motion all doesn't help the neck. But that also can lead to neck problems and also back problems. So I'm going to show you, as I say, a few exercises and the things I do to help my neck and my chin. So what I would do first is I would actually put on some rosehip oil. I always use my trusted um, organic rosehip oil, which I have, I have some here. Um, why I like to put some sort of form of oil on my neck, or you could put a moisturiser or just anything like that, is because when you're doing your exercises you are stretching the skin. And when you're stretching the skin, particularly as you get older and it may become dry, you don't want to be stretching your skin, your dry skin. You actually, if you're going to do something, you want something to sort of, to keep the elastin within it, if you like. And I think by using a rosehip oil, because it contains vitamin A, natural retinol, if you like, I think whilst I'm working the neck, I'm also then helping it with, you know, with something going into it as well and stopping it from hopefully becoming too dry but also helping with the elastin within the neck rather than forcing it to stretch without any um, without anything which is supple there. So what I would do first is I would take just a couple of drops of rosehip oil. As I say you could use any oil really or even something like a moisturiser, coconut oil, just something and I'd warm it just up into my hands and then I'll just place it onto my neck, my chin, and just work through it slightly in an upward motion. You don't want to be going down. Right, so once I've done that, put my, my hair back slightly. So once I've done my neck and my chin, I've worked through. I would then make sure, and this is quite important actually, is to make sure if I'm not standing and standing straight, to sit straight. So you don't want to, when you're sitting down, you want your legs, both your, your legs, your feet to be on the ground. You don't want to be cross-legged because then you're going to be out of alignment. So you want to have your knees nicely um, not crossed and nicely down and you want your back quite straight so you don't want to be hunched over doing neck exercises like that because then you're shortening the neck and that's not going to help your neck or your head so maybe just at two or three very you know a few rolls of the shoulders just and then settle them down into their sockets so then you're in straight alignment ready for doing some neck um, yoga exercises. Now of course if you do suffer with a bad neck it's probably best to see your doctor first. Um, you don't want to be doing these if it hurts and you know your you know limitations of your own neck if it starts to pull or strain you know that's when to stop. Right so we've applied the oil, we've got ourselves in alignment, we're sat in the right position, correct position. So what I would do first is I would actually do a few neck rolls very slowly just to warm the neck up. So almost well, naturally holding onto my shoulders to make sure it's in alignment. And then I'll just take a couple of deep breaths to get the oxygen to the head, if you like. So from the belly, and you want to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And I'll do one more as well. Make sure the belly expands. Right, 
right and then sort of then we're ready to do some warming up of the neck so I'll just tilt it slightly to the side not too much and then I would roll my head backwards very very slowly to the other side just so you can feel a stretch and just move it to the front and then if you just go back and you can feel the stretch already and this is just by just slowly warming the neck up being in the right alignment and position you might hear a little bit of crunching maybe a dog in the background then once you've done that you can just lift up slowly right so what I would do is I would hold this shoulder and then with your neck you just want to stretch it and just look slightly to the side just stretching the side of the neck there and then on the other side so just go very slowly and gently and just I tend to hold the shoulders so I know that I'm not slouching forward and an angle right and you could do that a couple of times actually I'll do it one more time good don't forget to breathe now the next one I would do would be what they say call kissing the ceiling if you like so what you do is again in complete alignment your back nice and straight and then shoulders back and then just gently look up to the ceiling and then just with your start so slightly with your mouth a kiss so you can see you're activating the, this, these big muscles, the platysla muscle. You could do this, I know, eight, twelve times. And that really does strengthen this part here. The other parts you could do is you could hold just your chin here and then just slowly open your mouth and then look up slowly slightly giving it a little bit of resistance but not too much show you how it starts to work And that can be done eight to ten, twelve times. Now my next one is one to do with the um, the jaw, and that is actually just protruding it out. So again, you would get your fingers, or you could get your thumb, and you would just protrude your jaw out like so, and give it a little bit of resistance, but not too much. So again, making sure you're it's straight and in alignment, and just. do that eight to twelve times and then you could leave it for a bit and then go back to that now before I show you the last exercise I want to show you to do for the neck and for the, this part will help the chin I just want to mention that the face actually contains 43 muscles and again it's a bit like the body if you don't use it you kind of lose it so it's really important to keep these muscles activated, to keep them going, just to sort of tighten the face, if you like, as well as, as you would if you were going to the gym with your body. Now, I thought it's such a big subject with face yoga that I thought I would just work on the neck today and then in next tutorials I will then sort of work up the face with it. 
Also very important when you are doing these exercises is not to scrunch any other part of your face. You don't want to be making new lines, for instance, by trying to uh, strengthen other muscles. So keep everything relaxed, particularly here and here. If you can keep the rest of your face relaxed and just work on the muscles that you're working on. So for instance, we use the neck muscles so we keep all this very relaxed so we're not scrunching up. Now the last exercise I would like to show you is to do here with the chin. So what you would do is get your tongue, and it's a very simple one, and it's just to literally to sit straight, shoulders back, and to just um, get your tongue and lift it to the roof of your mouth. I'll show you. Can you see? These aren't very glamorous, but I'll show you again. I mean, you could do this exercise when you're driving in the car, you know, when you're, you know, walking around, you know, when you're watching TV. That's a really easy exercise to do, just sitting there. Just make sure everything's in alignment and just get the, your tongue gently, just, you just relax the mouth and then just get your tongue and just keep moving it without moving your, your, t your jaw and just moving it to the, the roof of your mouth and that will actually also help the, this muscle here so this and help this part of the neck so if you see here that starts to strengthen all of this it sometimes it's the smallest movements can make the biggest difference and that definitely is one of them so I hope you enjoyed this video today as I say I'm sure I'm going to do some more on face yoga um, as well as you know my skincare things um, I think it's quite important if we can tighten things up as well as putting products onto our face and working within we can really make a difference to our skin and our face if you like um, and it's you know it's an easy free cheap one this one so I hope you enjoyed this video again please subscribe and also please like and I will see you in the next one okay bye